When Sandstorm is winning, uh, he's winning kind of hard in this matchup, but not playing the Sir Roland as Duke so elegantly uh, <laughs> analyzed here, um, switching over to the Tesla. Yep, Tesla definitely going to be that comfort pick for Sandstorm at this point. I think he's realized, you know what, Mirage just might not be the pick. It's all about the uh, Tesla today. Meanwhile, Stingray starting off, has that seven, has that spear. Just going for some uh, solid spear plays. Yeah, and of course, you know, Sandstorm uh, being known for the Mordex and that Scythe, but also one of the goats of combats for sure. So we're going to see that kind of come into effect as we see two weapons that are on the uh, larger hitbox side. Of course, Cannon having that burstiness, but Spear being one that's really good at kind of creating those hitboxes. Sandstorm is going to be really good at bursting and having so much experience Yo. versus Spear, but look at the uh, Cannon play from uh, Stingray. And oh my goodness, the downline recovery not Punish quite enough. Oh. Man, Stingray is tricky. You can tell this is definitely not a new pickup. He's been putting in the time and he's using the back end of the side sig. That is a whole disc around seven. And so that back part of it ends up catching Sandstorm. Stingray gonna get that first stock. A super underrated tool at catching cross-ups. And a lot of times you're gonna see players choosing the safe option, especially on faster weapons, getting through your opponent and saying, I'm gonna reset to center stage. But Stingray saying, no, 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 none of that. Seven having that sig is gonna be so good at covering as we see that big, uh, the, what is those junk ball fireballs coming yeah. out from the machine is going to be able to close that one the, out. the cannon blast coming out from cannon the blast, mech yep. stingray he's really using that kind of like the the kaya bows out there right they'll use that gravity cancel neutral stick to cover themselves sandstorm does manage to get the ko with the gauntlet recovery but he took a decent amount of damage there okay okay immediate aggression from sandstorm after hitting that sig wow so far, Stingray looking to play uh, kind of preemptively and try to catch Sandstorm in their movement, but Sandstorm's not giving anything. They catch, though. Yeah, I mean, at this rate, Stingray just needs to find one or two big hits on the Sandstorm. Could be putting Sandstorm to that final stock. Sandstorm, good active input, puts him back onto the stage, recognizes Stingray likes that Sig, and so that's a big punish coming out from Sandstorm, but not quite enough to KO just yet. Oh! I don't know if that was intentional, but I guarantee you, if I was in Sandstorm shoes, I'd do the exact same thing of just stand there and hope that it misses. Yeah, that was very interesting. And Sandstorm having the discipline to not dash back to the center of the stage. A lot of times when you're playing that game where you're both kind of jockeying for positioning, one is going to try to dash back to the center. And if Sandstorm did, it would have been the end of that stock. But standing there being cool, calm, and collected on the unarmed gets it down strong. But there, Singray evening, evening up the stock count here. Right, now it's over to that spear. Currently in the lightning form. Haven't seen Stingray put on the flamethrower just yet. Okay, they're very important to stall in the air, especially with no soft platforms to assist your landing. That uh, downer is going to be a good one at that. But Sandstorm continuing the pressure, not giving Stingray any comfort on the ground. Basically, all of the real estate on the ground is just belonging to the boots on Sandstorm's best go. Oh, but a good dodge from Stingray avoids that side sig and takes the opportunity to put on the flamethrower as Sandstorm's coming back for the neutral sig. Going to bounce him and disarm. Big disarm and big, big uh, boot pickup from Sandstorm. The boots have been doing absolute wonders versus the seven so far. That Why? sig being a big part of that. That's crazy that connected. Okay, downline side air. I, I'm baffled why he did the throw back. Again, that boots down sig has active input and I swear if you bounce them off the stage, it will KO sooner, and they were closer to the right side. I don't know why he went to the left, but you know what? He got the KO, so I I'm a fool either way. Yeah, Sandstorm uh, wanting to work a little bit harder yeah. for the KO there. Say, I want to hit another down lights there. Keep my confirms fresh there, and that's going to be exactly that. As we see a pretty even split between the gauntlets and the boots at 503 damage, but maybe like 60 more on the side of the boots there. I was really two, impressed with that one, damage uh, oh. difference between the two of them. One damage. Stingray had one more tick of damage than Sandstorm uh, to close that one out. Nice active input there to extend for more of a horizontal punish there. Gets the side light into the side air once again. Tries to hold the, uh, the corner away from Stingray. And Stingray actually having a little bit of a moment of comfort in that nair. But Sandstorm immediately dashing in again out of Hitstun and just saying, I'm going to continue to contest you on the ground. You will not be comfortable anywhere on my Demon Island. Yeah, really wants to keep Stingray in the air and not give him that opportunity to go for that side light read that Spear players historically like to do. But there's the big fist, the downside coming out from Stingray to follow up. Yeah, that being a 
traditional seven combo, not so much Cannon, but that Sig being very good at covering that defensive option. Something that Cannon can definitely struggle to uh, cover that uh, 45 degree in front of them. Um, that Sig's gonna be good at doing that. Ooh, good spot dodge. Good Stingray. reaction from Stingray, wow. You know, get the KO because of it, ends up getting that string side light, down light, side air, the classic, but he wants the Cannon now. Down Sig, done. Talking about that too, Sandstorm being uh, one of the players that is so good at uh, recognizing that's going to KO and getting as much um, as much vertical as possible to start a weapon juggle. Um, just trying to deny Stingray, but Stingray getting the spear immediately. No weapon denied from St uh, Sandstorm, but still having the boots on mine and continuing the pressure. It seems as if Stingray cannot touch the ground for any reason whatsoever. Sandstorm is all over Stingray's landings. Yeah, he wants to stay stacked up against Stingray. Stingray, though, able to throw out that side signature, covers pretty close onto him. Sidelight looking for the read there. Sandstorm gets high enough. Big combos and gets the reversal side air there. Sandstorm trying to position back and continue to hold the corner. The weapon gets knocked away as well, but Sandstorm all too comfortable on that unarmed. Downlight, side air. Yup. Stingray went a little too high with that cannon recovery, and Sandstorm was like, I got an easy punish with your name on it. It's really smart for Sandstorm to consistently on Demon Island say, I don't have to go off stage because a lot of times, because the wall is so small, you don't have that extra mix up where you can do a, you know, a side air on cannon and get back low, but it doesn't matter. Stingray has been connecting no matter what element that side stick is paying dividends so far. Yeah, that's definitely been Stingray's big signature choice, especially on that spear. Sideline, there's the dog down, but Stingray was expecting to stay high. Neutral, I doesn't quite find an extension off of it. But Stingray getting a ground pound there and forcing Sandstorm in a tricky situation. I was talking about the ground dominance of Sandstorm, but Stingray now had a little control there, but Sandstorm continues his juggle with these nares and looking to find Ooh. a ground pound there. Gets whip punished by the neutral light. Ooh. Charges the Sig, expecting Sandstorm to dart through. Another whip punish comes through on the side of Sandstorm. We're back center and the side Sig comes Ooh. through in the neutral Sig from Stingray. Yo, so but it disarms him, avoids the fire. Spot dodging through the ground pound. Sandstorm still finding hits. He's gonna take aim number two, both of them with one weapon. A little bit of help. Neutral sig, not quite enough. The Sandstorm special at this point. Those neutral sigs have been so consistent at connecting as I say that a sig gets whiffed by Sandstorm and Stingray is able to close out that stock. We can all sigh a breath of relief, especially for Stingray with that side air connection. Yeah, I mean, that was so valuable, not only because it gives you the game, but it puts you in a position where you're not having to win three in a row to hopefully close out the set. Instead, this is now just like a best of three. Yeah, exactly. And having potential to uh, pull away now. But uh, yeah, that side air is going to be a big, big whiff from Sandstorm and a great whiff punish from Stingray. We go back to Demon Island three, here. Two, one, All right, four. game number three, currently tied 1-1. One, one. No character swaps on either side. Sandstorm still sticking with the Tesca. Wants those boots, wants that weapon denial from Stingray as well. And as you see here, Sandstorm immediately going back to work and conditioning that, uh, uh, conditioning the fact that Stingray needs to stay in the air and Stingray um, kind of assuming that position as well, but still in the corner, finding a lot of opportunities to get back into center stage with that side light hitbox and try to catch Sandstorm dashing in and bursting close to the spear. Very important to be able to check the aggression, but checking aggression, it's probably the hardest to do on one of arguably the most aggressive players of all time in Sandstorm. Yeah, he's very good at keeping his aggression at just the right pace around his opponent. Stingray, he's got to be careful. If he goes a little too high there, could get caught by a down light, but and just to avoid the down sig reverse from Sandstorm. Oh. And wait, but a crazy mix up oh. comes on the side of Stingray. The sigs are coming through and they are working for Stingray. As he goes for a gravity yeah. cancel and tries to catch Sandstorm landing back towards center stage, but it doesn't quite find it there. Neutral sig again from Sandstorm. Says stay out of the sky. He'll grab you down, rip you down and bounce you off the stage. Sandstorm gets the KO. But look at the health difference. Stingray just needs to find that one hit. Sandstorm conditioning uh, those jumps and getting, uh, conditioning those jumps with the um, boots, getting the gauntlets, and then getting that neutral stick to call out the jumps is just so vicious as that downlight into the nair comes through from Stingray. One of the bread and butters for cannons uh, that all cannon players love to hit. Now Stingray back under the spear, side oh, six nice his one. way up, and that's a burn dodge, which means Sandstorm gets a solid string here, finishes it off with that down air. 
go. I like that going to the side light. Not seeing a side air, but instead cowling it out with an air. Good punish from Stingray. Looking to try and some control in the crowd as Sandstorm continues to be so crafty. I mean, look at the movement so far from Sandstorm. Can't get hit. Finally, the side air from the cannon connects. Goes for a big side stick, doesn't quite find it though. And with punishes that cannon swing, and that's not gonna be a great spot to be in versus these boots. Oh man, Stingray, he's trying to be tricky. It's almost like he's using that down sig as like a hitbox to jump because you see that Nair come out right afterwards. So he's like really just trying to bait Sandstorm in, but Sandstorm finds the down air. Does Stingray have the movement? No, he will fall. Once again, the boots from Sandstorm closing out another stock on Stingray side as Sandstorm looks to go up 2-1 in the set. Nips cannon comes online. The ground pound connect goes for an air to call out the juggle. Doesn't quite find it. The light, neutral light from the unarmed coming through for Sandstorm, but still that gravity cancel down light into the neutral air. We saw that kind of similarly where uh, players are now really, really willing to swing out of the corner using those uh, gravity cancel uh, down lights with the cannon. I also, like, it, it's really hard to detail out what's happening, but there is this moment every time Sandstorm gets a hit where they're both playing a mind game of, is Stingray going to immediately swing out of getting hit, or is Sandstorm going to swing onto Stingray immediately after getting that hit? Yeah, exactly, and that that's that little um, kind of calm Yo. in the storm. Yo. Oh, no. Three callouts from Sandstorm. Sarah after Ooh. Sarah after Sarah into the end sig, and Sandstorm <laughs> takes game number three. You just, you don't even have a moment to talk when you commentate stats <laughs> with sometimes. I was trying to explain something. I don't even remember what happened. What happened though at the end of that game was three side air call outs into an end stick to close out that stock. And look at the damage differential, 374 on boots, 90 on gauntlets, almost as much as the unarmed. Oh my goodness, only 10 damage separating the two players as, yeah, I mean, Sandstorm was down there and was able to close it out with three big reads. Absolute absurdity. Sandstorm says, analyze this play instead of whatever else y'all were talking about. But here we go. Game number four. Sandstorm starting it off with the gauntlets here. Might be an opportunity for Stingray to get some damage before Sandstorm swaps to those boots. Nice dodge uh, to avoid that weapon toss from Stingray. Tries to go for uh, a weapon denial there. Doesn't get it. Still has the Orbithal to catch his own spear weapon toss. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's one of the benefits of going for that kind of vertical toss is that it will come back down so you can pick it up instead of those horizontal tosses, which generally will disarm you if you miss. Speaking of which, that was a little bit of a showcase there from Sandstorm as the weapon tosses exchange and now Sandstorm having the stage Ooh. to a stingray. That has a crazy hitbox uh, on the way back to the stage. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really good coverage. I'm just surprised at Sandstorm's reaction there because he did a down sig the complete opposite direction. There's the down zig, there's the bounce. Stingray gonna hold on. See that from Sandstorm using the recovery early there. The position to go high, forcing Stingray to go low on the smaller walls of Demon Island. And that turnaround ground pound is gonna be so clinical from Sandstorm to close out that stock and get the first lead of this game. Number four, tries to go for a sig read there. This is a big opportunity for Sandstorm. No recovery, call out that dodge. And now Stingray thanking their lucky stars and cashing in with that down light into the neutral air on the cannon. They're doing a really good job, not immediately panic dodging. You saw Sandstorm really trying to catch Stingray off guard there. Gonna keep this one even. Double down light into the side air. Stingray getting some good damage. Nice check there. Trying to dash back to center stage. West Sandstorm gets called out by Stingray, but still the dash into the center stage works once again. Oh. Big catch. Oh, oh that's two. Is he touching? He still touches the wall. Yeah. Sandstorm backs away. Big discipline from Sandstorm there. Another double down light into the recovery, but not quite enough to close out that stock yet. The down lights are coming through because you know what confirms on the way down light into Nair for Stingray and saying, hey, I'm ready to force the game five. Let's dance. Dude, he is so good at hitting those down light Nairs, just catching the landings. That's something you called out when we were in the bag is like using that cannon down light to just catch the landing of opponents. And especially important on a stage with no soft platforms. Another side SIG attempt from Sandstorm whiffing, but no punish from Stingray as the Spear is still online and looking to try to find some space back to the stage, but it doesn't work out as Sandstorm gets the big call. And I love that from Sandstorm throwing up and denying the weapon spawn just a little bit more as the cannon goes back online for Stingray and goes for just the downlight into the downers. We haven't been seeing the big cannon strings. And, oh, that was scary. Wait, here we go. Sandstorm gets the recovery, called out the dodge. Still finding hits, but Stingray swings back again. He's sometimes waking up out of getting hit, and Sandstorm is not always expecting it. Shades of Game 3 here, where Sandstorm had a big damage 
disadvantage no. here, and just one edge guard is all oh! it takes to equalize, but the ground pound doesn't come through and gets the down air to call out the side air. And Sandstorm barely able to touch, still gets hit, uses the dodge early what? as they both fall, but Stingray falls first. What is Stingray doing? And that's going to be Sandstorm winning 3-1. I can't believe no. what just happened. No. Okay, they're, they're banning out maps. I think that was a spectator issue, and it looks like we're going to a game five. There's no way they're banning out maps if Sandstorm just won that. I mod check, mod we check. Need a, we're gonna have a little break here as we talk. <laughs> if if that was it. really what happened, absolute absurdity. But I feel like we're gonna have to put a little bit of a breather and say, okay, wait, what's what's really going on? Because yeah, they're getting into a game five. Yeah. So if that's the case, then we're gonna get into a game five here. Um, I mean, I don't even need to see the stats to know that Sandstorm's boots have been absolutely dominating the ground game here so far versus Stingray. Stingray, though, having kind of a similar consistency as um, Mina in South America, like <laughs> always getting a downlight and finding the downlight that confirms into a KO. It's kind of insane to see how, you know, Hammer and Ken kind of having a similar pop up into a KO move as we get into what looks like game five here on Demon Island. No scenery change. Yeah, no swamps or nothing. We got our game five here, Stingray. Starting this one off with the cannon. I feel like he wants to start off with the spear for the damage build, and then he goes over to the cannon for those downlight neutral air KOs like you have been talking about. Meanwhile, Sandstorm, I feel like he's like 100% about the boots right now. Yeah. It makes sense to me, right? I mean, a flat stage, no side platforms. Uh, you don't really need to go for like uh, sharking under a soft platform when there are no platforms, and the boots is going to be having so much of that horizontal range to call out landing, similar to that downlight on the cannon. Ooh, trying to catch that jump there. Weapon toss goes through as Stingray manages to hit Sandstorm first. Nice positioning. Downlight down here. No follow up. Nair looking for the read, but Stingray manages to dodge the sideline. And no dodge there. Using that on the gravity cancel. And that's an easy tap in for Stingray. That is such a scary read to go for when you you have to be so certain to go for a gravity cancel side like into offstage territory because all it takes is one slight reversal from the spear. And it could be Stingray running away with it so far. Gets uh, side sick, but doesn't get a follow up after that. The cider not quite enough to close out the stock. Oh. Good respect from Sandstorm, but could have been a punish, I feel like, if Sandstorm was better positioned. Yeah, he really gave respect to that hitbox. Wasn't sure if Stingray was going to come back up. The second he saw Stingray go into the wall, he was like, oh, I need to punish this. But it was just a little bit too late. Downlight doesn't get the chase dodge recovery there, and Stingray getting some big hits on the Sandstorm. There's the recovery. The Sandstorm's playing from behind. Stingray is playing so tight. I mean, overall, just like every opportunity that Sandstorm drops to get a KO or any whiff, even when you're in disadvantage, Stingray saying, you know what, I don't care. I'm going to find a way to punish you for it as that down light into the neutral punishes and closes out and potentially puts Sandstorm on their winner side life right now. Yeah, now Sandstorm has to bring out the biggest plays possible. Saw the dodge come out from Stingray. There's another dodge, oh. Sandstorm. Finding some good hits here on the Stingray, recognizing the dodges burn, go for the sidelight recovery, just free damage. Sandstorm hasn't been hit yet, switches over to the boots and finally does get hit by that Nair from Stingray to try to deny a weapon weapon grab there. Big Nair turnaround, catches the middle, has the juggle now for Stingray. Avoid, um, Sandstorm avoiding it there, but still in a really bad spot as this extra credit is slowly building up. It's looking harder and harder for Sandstorm to get back into this one. All it takes is one big hit from the boots, and we're going to see that right now in Sandstorm's attempt to come back in the game. But once again, Stingray holds center stage. The cannon comes online. That's it is light. time for that downlight Nair percent, everybody. Sandstorm, oh! Ground pound. Goes for a GC downlight. Stingray with the ground pound. Sandstorm still needs to finish off this stock and then go for another one. Otherwise, he's going down to the elimination side, and yes, he will. Stingray is going into the winner's final, a guaranteed top three finish on seven of all characters. I mean, what, obviously the newest legend in the game and having that represented, uh, representative immediately in the top three here, absolutely amazing stuff from the side of Stingray. As we see the spear actually pay, playing a big part, but it's well, the